What up, you guys? Slim here at Team Purple Panda, back uh, with more videos. Uh, like I promised, I had to dip out a little early yesterday. Uh, you know how it is when you got work and shit. You know, you got to do your priorities. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, but I didn't forget. I left all my bullets in that, you know, uh, please continue to send your ideas. You know, when I get back today, which is now, I would do the videos. So uh, let's get into it real quick. Today, we got the Arizona Diamondbacks fitted. I don't know why. I just picked it out this morning and said, fuck it. Um, I'm going to get into this. This is another request from my trade channel. They want me to do a deck discussion on X Sabres. I've actually been wanting to do this for a while since I've encountered X Sabres a lot. I've been very successful in my matches against X Sabres. Um, they are a very good deck, and for people who don't know how they run, this video will basically tell you uh, how they run. So, for people who don't know, you can look at Yu Gi Oh! Wikia like I do, which is like the best way to learn. Uh, you know, X Sabres are cool. You know, they. Uh, they're basically, um, they're, they're a bunch of Earth attribute, mainly warrior type and beast type monsters. And they re they have effects, you know, that swarm the field. And it's through that style of play that, you know, they get the big advantage over the opponent. They make powerful synchros like Hunley that blow back rows. And, you know, they're, they're just really cool. Uh, they were introduced, uh, for people who don't know, they were introduced in Dual Terminal Synchro Awakening. Uh, followed by Dual Terminal Invasion of Worms. Uh, there was Gotham Z Call. Um... You know, which is like one of the key cards of the deck. There were, when the <clears throat> pre release came out, there was Guard to Strike, which I mean, not a lot of people use, but you know, it happens. Um, they received support in uh, Ancient Prophecy in the form of X Saber Sub Arch type, uh, released to the TCG through with the 2009 starter deck, and they're still considered, you know, X Sabers to this day. <clears throat> Uh, when the Shining Darkness came out, though, it was really big uh, for a TCG exclusive, uh, the release of XX Saber Dark Soul. Uh, for people who don't know, XX Saber Dark, Hole, Dark Soul is uh, ridiculous. So basically, whenever uh, you know it would be destroyed and sent to the graveyard in any, if it's just sent to the graveyard in any way, you can add any X Saber from your deck to your hand. So basically, the first opening play is you set it, have it destroyed, you add an X Saber to your hand that you need. Uh, it's ridiculous. That's usually the opening play that a lot of X Saber players do. If not that, they use Super Nimble Mega Hamster because Mega Hamster can actually get you Dark Soul. Because people don't know, Dark Soul is a beast. It's a level three. It's ridiculous. So a lot of the strategies relied on. You want to get your Dark Souls out early, obviously. Uh, key plays I've seen is when you have Dark Soul out, you want to go uh, Full Helm Knight. People who don't know, Full Helm Knight is the level three tuner. Uh, has the <clears throat> excuse me, has the ability to negate one attack once, uh, which is really cool, and uh, basically you sync Dark Soul and you sync um, Full Helm Knight to make X, uh, to make X Saber uh, Hunley. Now Hunley is like a Mobius on steroids. You get to blow three back rows, you guys. That's ridiculous. If people remember, like, when you're about to get hit by that, you'll get trap stunned first so you can't do anything, and then you're going to lose your back rows regardless. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. So... Cards like that, combos like that occur. <clears throat> also, uh, with the release of when uh, XX, uh, when uh, Emmer's Blade came out, Emmer's Blade uh, came out. It was an exclusive, and uh, it was also broken because um, <clears throat> when it uh, is destroyed, you know, sent to the graveyard, you basically can special summon another one or summon a Dark Soul. Uh, it combos really well with the whole deck as a whole and you're not getting the card to your hand you're getting it to the field so basically you're baiting your opponent out in attacks which is you know really key uh so it's plays like that that make the deck ridiculously broken emmer's blade used to be like 70 dollars it's getting released in the hidden arsenal special edition which is ridiculous so people who don't have emmer's blades don't worry you're gonna have them soon enough i don't think the archetype will be touched at all by the ban list it has not been able to win any event that i know of lately which is really sad because it's a really good deck and of course everyone knows that the main pilot of the deck that we all know is Billy Brake. He's come so close. We're hoping one of these days he can actually take it and win the whole event. So uh, keep an eye on him because I'm sure he'll be one of the uh, few X Saber players that actually will make it with the deck. So um, <clears throat> you know it's cards like that that make the deck really broken. Um, then when we got the uh, uh, we got you know we're lucky in the TCG we get a lot of uh, you know, exclusives, and one of those big exclusives was uh, XX Saber Bogart Knight. And Bogart Knight is ridiculous because Bogart Knight <clears throat> is when you normal summon him, you can special summon, uh, I believe, uh, if the card, uh, if I remember how to read the card, I probably don't. Uh, you get to summon a level 4 or lower, that's right. So level 4 or lower from your hand, usually you would summon uh, Dark Soul or you would summon uh, 
Full Helm Knight. Uh, the beauty of summoning Full Helm Knight is that you can, you know, negate one attack. But not only that, they get you your two X Sabers on the field in order to summon an X Saber Full Troll. Full Troll brings one back from the graveyard. You basically set up your entire field. You have four monsters on the field before you've even synchroed. And it's like your opponent's like, fuck, you know, like, what do I do? And that's what makes the deck extremely deadly and very powerful when it goes off. When you get Giant Trunated, I'm telling you, shit's about to go down. That's usually what happens with that deck and from what I've seen with plays with that deck. Um, <clears throat> I was playing actually against an X-Saber player, he's a good friend of mine, uh, at the last regionals I was, I was playing with Gravekeeper, and the Gravekeeper does have an advantage over them, but I uh, went to attack and I got Malevolent Catastrophe, and I lost three back row, what, it was one warning, one deprison, one, uh, I don't remember what the other card was, but I took a big loss there, I was still able to win the game, but it was ridiculous, so when they side in cards like that, you're in trouble, because the deck is powerful, and <laughs> Unfortunately, to win, you have to attack over those monsters. You have to get them off the field because Dark Hole will not be the only thing that will help you win. Um, <clears throat> I can tell you that for a fact. So, um, yeah, it's plays like that that make this deck really good. <coughs> the searching ability through Dark Soul is amazing. And Full Troll, uh, you know, you can make a level 7, uh, which is cool. Uh, if I remember, I'm trying to remember what Full Troll... Yeah, because Full Troll uh, is crazy being able to bring one back. He's plus he's 2400 attack, that's really good. Um, let's see, what else is there to say on it? There's, you know, they include, <clears throat> they include, uh, Effect Veiler in there, you know, to shut down your effects. Uh, they also run Pashul. I've seen a lot of Pashul lately. Uh, Pashul's cool because Pashul is basically a Spirit Reaper. I mean, you do take a thousand points of damage if it's in defense, but uh, it's a tuner and it sets up for your plays. So, I mean, it's not going to stay around long. Um, and then for, like, support spells and stuff, people still use Saber Slash, which I guess is okay. You know, you can destroy face-up cards equal to the number of X-Sabers on the field, uh, that, that's okay, um, I don't see it as much in a lot of the main X-Saber decks these days, uh, same with Saber Hole, uh, which was really good, actually, it was almost like a, almost like a warning for the deck, um, <clears throat> that you didn't have to pay for, but lately I haven't seen it really played by a lot of X-Saber players, I'm sure it's still used, but, uh, I, I personally have never played the deck, like, actually played it myself, so I really don't know, I'm just speaking off of the matches I've played, uh, but it's a very solid deck type, has a lot of support, and it's really good. Um, like I said, I don't think it'll get hit by the list. Uh, another key card uh, of the deck, <clears throat> which uh, of course I'm going to cover, is uh, Gotham's E Call. Gotham's E Call is amazing. So basically, you have to have an X Saber on the field, and then you flip it, and it's like a double call of the Haunted. You can bring back up to two. Uh, it's ridiculous. It w ends games most of the time. Uh, that's why when I was running Gravekeeper, because Gravekeeper, if people don't know, usually <clears throat> has the advantage over. X Sabers for the fact that you're locking down their graveyard abilities with Necro Valley, and if you happen to Royal Tribute them, they do take a heavy loss because Dark Soul will not go from field to graveyard to go from hand to graveyard and they won't be able to search, or you Royal Tribute what they search, so it, it's crazy. Uh, the deck would also have trouble in a DeFi against a deck that sides or mains D Fissure because D Fissure, you know, will send them all to the remove pile, so a lot of the effects won't work, uh, uh, Dark Soul wouldn't work, and you know, that's basically how you beat the deck. The deck, um, you know, you have a hard enough time beating it as it is, but there are key cards that can help you win. Uh, Thunder King is amazing because it stops Dark Soul plays. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, in order to stop those key synchros, because I'm telling you guys, Hunley is amazing, and that goes double for um, XX Saber Gotham's, because Gotham's is that level 9 that they make so easily, and he just pills away at your hand. I've had that happen. I've lost my entire hand to Gotham's and then got hit directly, and, you know, I had no way out. Um, so I'm telling you guys, uh, they're really good. They're a really solid archetype. And, uh, you know, if you play with them, play against them, you know how to run uh, the deck. Like I said, the weaknesses to them are Gravekeeper and... Um, D-Fissure, Macrocosmos, anything that removes. D-Prison hurts them uh, a lot. Uh, but otherwise, you know, they're a really solid archetype. And they're a deck I'd probably try in the future with uh, the release of Emrys Blade since I never actually looked into the deck before. Since a lot of stuff has come out in Turbo Pack, uh, Tournament Packs and stuff, you know, you can... Uh, or Turbo Packs, you can, uh, you know, pick up the stuff pretty cheap. <clears throat> so I think that's all I had to cover on X-Sabers. They're a really good, uh, solid archetype. Uh, if you're not running them and you do want to run them, you know, watch this video. This will give you uh, just a general idea of how they run. And, uh, you know, they have so many great plays. Uh, I think they're a great archetype, and I'm hoping that, you know, they you know they see a lot more play and possibly win a couple of the upcoming events. 
uh, in the future. So uh, that's all I got to say, you guys. Video one of many. I have a lot of ideas that came to me uh, yesterday and today. So I'm going to be uh, pretty much here making videos the rest of the day. So uh, enjoy. Uh, we're on for probably another another little mini slimathon. I hope you guys can handle it. I know everyone's viewing everything, so I'm not that worried. Uh, that's all I got to say, you guys. Please continue to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up. I want to get up to 300 subs. And that's all I got to say, you guys. Hope everyone's having a good day. And thank you for watching.